Hi guys, I'm Chike Coleman and I just got through seeing the new Matt Reeves film, The Batman, directed uh, of course by Matt Reeves um, and starring Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Colin Farrell, uh, Andy Serkis, uh, Jeffrey Wright, uh, just an amazing cast of people. Uh, the, the plot is simple. Batman is two years into his journey of finding justice. And he starts getting riddles uh, for all these famous pol politicians and political figures that are being murdered around Gotham. He has to solve these riddles and figure out what the connection is between all these key political figures that are being knocked off. And find out who this Riddler character is. Um, that's as much as I'm going to give away. I'm not going to spoil it for you like some YouTube reviewers do. This is a fantastic movie. Uh, the only real big negative for me is that Robert Pattinson is completely acted circles around by literally the rest of the entire cast. Uh, he has a grasp of how to be Batman, but we don't really get to see that other side of who Batman is. I know that this is a new version of an origin story, but I mean, come on. You've got to have that duality between Bruce Wayne and Batman. It's essential. That's the number one thing that Batman the Animated Series taught kids in the 90s, is that if that duality is not present, then him just going out on the streets and just beating the crap out of criminals does nothing for the story. They have a really great uh, mystery for who is m killing all these different political figures, some lawyers, some criminals, some cops. Uh, and it's fascinating how deep the rabbit hole goes in terms of the connections to different people, even connections to uh, Bruce Wayne's own family, which I won't reveal here. But it's a really engrossing story held back by... Weak performance from Robert Pattinson, uh, although he does have good chemistry with Zoe Kravitz and good chemistry with Jeffrey Wright. But him on his own is basically just weak sauce. Like, he's a good fighter throughout the movie when he has to do action scenes. The car chase scene will up your blood pressure to the highest level it's ever been. Uh, but... He is kind of lifeless. He's just operating off of anger the entire 2 hours and 56 minutes that this movie runs. And I know what you're wondering. Chike, does the movie run really long or do you feel it? No. Everything is happening at such a brisk and intense pace. You don't have time to think about how long the movie is. You really don't. Because everything is just happening all at once. This is a really solid movie that could have the opportunity to be better if the sequel just levels up and gives Batman the chance to be Batman. They got the detective part right, which is something that has been lacking from previous iterations, but they need to give Bruce Wayne a stronger sense of self beyond just realizing that his title can't be just straight-up vengeance. It has to be something that inspires but also sparks fear in the hearts of evil. And that's how he gets his Batman name. But, despite all that, he's lifeless throughout the entire movie, other than when he's fighting criminals. Like, there's no emotion on his face at any given time, even when those closest to him are injured or under threat of injury. So, I like this movie, but... The character of Batman, the most important character and the most pivotal character in the entire uh, series, and in this movie specifically, is kind of limp and broken in ways that this movie needs to heal if it ever gets a chance at a sequel. I give it 3 out of 5 stars. Um, I want to know in your comments below whether you agree with my opinion or whether you think I'm jumping the gun and just need to watch it again I'd be more than happy to discuss things in the comments below uh, but let me know what you guys think 
and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.